Um, so going back to the Eileen, yeah. your grandfather had that built. Grandfather yeah. had it built for 400 some odd pound yeah. out at Curtis and Pipes yeah. before it was turned into a fish factory. Yeah. Yeah, grandfather had that built. And, and father went to sea with him then, my yeah. father went with him. So at what age were you, I know you weren't allowed to do it at first, but then you did go fishing. What age were you when you went fishing? When I finished yeah. learning my trade, 21. Oh, right. They made me learn the trade first in yeah. case the fishing went down the spout like it's, it has done before. Yeah. And um, I went fishing, I, was, I think between 20 and 21, I went aboard the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But um, I tried every tablet you could get, and, but none of it done much good. None of it done any good. Yeah. I, I ripped the lawn in my stomach to finish up with and I had to pack up for six months and really? go ashore. Went up and seen a specialist up Plymouth and he said, you've got um, a torn something in your stomach, like yeah. with urging so much. So, okay. But uh, the thing was, to start with, I'd feel that bad with it. I could lie down and die nearly, like, you know? Yes. But then after, you get, you, you eat, you eat, although it comes off again, yeah. you eat, and then you feel it don't feel quite so bad with it. Yeah. That, yeah. And then I gradually got over it a bit, like, you right. know? But I was engineer aboard the Arlene once I'd been there a couple of years, mm -hmm. and that wasn't so good down in amongst the diesel engines, oh, yeah. the diesel oil, just, that used to upset me quite quick, like, yeah. you know? Yeah. But um, it was all right, it was all right, but. Um, Father used to say, stick at it, he said, because it'll be your boat in a minute when I wrap it up. Well, it was my boat, but the the best money to be earned out of the boat had already been earned, like, and, you know, it was all going yeah. flat sort of thing. Because really speaking, sharking and a bit of line, up and line mackerel fishing was all I ever done in the Eileen. Yeah. That was all I ever done. Mm -hmm. And then when I've... When father passed away, within a month or so, I'd so I sold her. Like, I knew somebody wanted her, yeah. and um, she was only insured for a very low sum of money mm. that you couldn't charge no more than that sum of money. And I sold her cheap, like, and got rid of it, got it off me back, because yeah. I was just paying out money, uh, doing repairs all the time, really, yeah. you know, being an old boat. Yeah. A family bought her and done her up as um, a sailing boat, like, you know, a lugger, oh, yeah. and they spent a lot of money on her, and mm. she looked very nice once they'd done her up. Yeah. Is she still going now? It's or? still going now, oh, yeah. Wow. Down at Paul Ruin, I think she is, up one of the creeks up the... Yeah. 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 Most of my life I've been sea, mm -hmm. except for when I learned my trade as a carpenter, and then there was one spell that um, fishing was gone dead and I worked for Edwin Pierce for a couple of years building houses up Barbican, all the new estates up Barbican. Oh, yeah. I yeah. worked on all that lot with Neil and Julian. Huh? That was, um, you knew money was coming in each week. Like, yeah. And that was, that yeah. was it, like I had a young family and you had to do something. Yeah. So that was about yeah. it. Are there any um, weird superstitions around fishing? Around um, fishing? Yeah, there is, Claire. If you down on the boats down in the harbour and a vicar walked down over the quay, you'd moor the boat up again and go home and not say nothing. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, if you see a vicar come down or a vicar get aboard the boat, yeah. that was deadly. Oh, the gosh. bottom could drop out or the engine could yeah. blow up or anything. <laughs> and if, if you saw a rabbit yeah. on the island like there used to be, that was nearly as bad as that. Oh, you gosh. must never talk about rabbits. Yeah. Yeah. Recently, a harbour meeting was cancelled because someone said that word. Yeah. 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 If they say that, it's deadly. Yeah. Mustn't never say about a rabbit or a vicar. That was the two main ones, right. like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And you must never leave a bucket upside down. A bucket always had to be put up the right way. Oh, right. I don't know why, but yeah. always put a bucket up the right way. Yeah. I'm afraid I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't very, I suppose, me. I got a bit fed up with this and that, but yeah. when when they had buckets kicking around or anything that would be rattling, I'd say to them, look, if you ain't going to put that tidy, I'll put it tidy myself. And after time, they wouldn't do it, so overboard it went. That was my, my I used to get rid of it that way, like, there was always something rattling, crashing yeah. and rattling, like, and even the slightest movement, it, it's, well, if you don't try and have half an hour and it kept, like, down in the bunk, yeah, right. it's yeah. no good. Yeah. Because when, when you were out long lining, 
you would um, you'd have to go out first, shoot all your nets, and then catch your pilchards. And when you got your pilchards aboard, you'd count them, see if you had enough to bite up your fifty six hundred ducks. Because right. then you might have to cut some in two and some in three. Well, once you had your bait aboard, quite often you were between the Addy Stone and Mavagazi Bay. That's where you would shoot you normally. Yeah. So what you would do then, you would be motoring up towards the Addy Stone and there'd be two men cutting up the pilchards all the time and the other three of us would be baiting up the ox like, you know? Yeah. So that when you get past the Addy Stone, you'd always put the stern of the boat right in line with the Addy Stone and you'd go away your course from there, either east south east the stone, south east, south be west of the stone, whatever whatever ground you plan to go on. Mm -hmm. 